Imagine the worst days of the COVID-19 pandemic, streets empty, hospitals overcrowded, and the deafening silence of cities that once buzzed with life, families torn apart, lives lost, and the fear of the unknown hanging heavy in the air. Over 7 million people died worldwide, and America alone lost over 1.2 million lives. That horrifying chapter seemed to close, but now a new threat looms on the horizon. HMPV, the human metanumovirus. Could this virus be the next big health crisis? Is it as deadly as COVID-19? And are we ready to face another battle? Let's uncover the truth before it's too late. Before jumping to conclusions, let's understand what HMPV is and why it's suddenly in the spotlight. Human metapneumovirus, or HMPV, is a respiratory virus that scientists discovered in 2001. It has been around for over two decades, but recent surges in cases are causing alarm. The virus belongs to the pneumoviridae family of viruses, along with respiratory syncytial virus. This virus directly impacts your respiratory system, targeting the lungs and airways. In simple terms, it's a silent invader that can turn a mild cold into something more severe, especially for those with weaker immune systems. Human metanumovirus is a common cause of upper respiratory infections among infants and children under five years old. While anyone can catch HMPV, infants, older adults, and those with health conditions like immunosuppression, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, and asthma are at higher risk for severe illness. Extra care should be taken to protect at-risk groups and healthcare workers from any respiratory infections. The symptoms of HMPV are often similar to those of the common cold, making it tricky to identify. Here's what you should look out for. A runny or stuffy nose, sore throat, cough, fatigue, and mild fever. While these symptoms may sound ordinary, HMPV can become dangerous in severe cases. It may cause bronchitis or pneumonia. One red flag is wheezing, a whistling sound while breathing. If you notice this or other severe symptoms, don't wait. Consult a doctor immediately. So, how does HMPV spread? It's highly contagious and travels through tiny droplets when an infected person coughs or sneezes. These droplets can land on surfaces, and if you touch them and then your face, you're at risk. Close contact with an infected person can also spread the virus. Vulnerable groups like young children, the elderly, and people with weakened immune systems are especially at risk. Let's look at what's happening globally. In China, there's been a rapid surge in HMPV cases. Hospitals are filled with patients suffering from respiratory infections. Reports show an alarming rise in bronchitis and pneumonia cases. Naturally, this has sparked fears of another pandemic, but experts have reassured us HMPV is not as deadly as COVID-19. However, its rapid spread is still concerning. The incidence of HMPV in the UK has risen steadily since October 2024. The UK Health and Security Agency does not publish the number of cases recorded. However, its latest data shows the percentage of people testing positive for the disease rose sharply in the third week of December and remained at that higher level the following week. But the UK Health and Security Agency says this is completely in line with normal seasonal trends, and the level of the disease being seen in GP surgeries and hospitals is as expected. Like many respiratory infections, HMPV is most active during late winter and spring. This is because viruses survive better in the cold and can pass more easily from one person to another as people spend more time indoors with closed windows. In northern China, the current HMPV spike coincides with low temperatures that are expected to last until March. Many other countries in the Northern Hemisphere, including the U.S., are also experiencing a growth in rates of HMPV. Countries like Taiwan and Cambodia are issuing warnings, highlighting the risks for children, the elderly, and those with weakened immune systems. Malaysia has also been experiencing a notable increase in HMPV cases. 
In the United States, the CDC monitors HMPV cases similarly to how it tracks other respiratory viruses. It's estimated that HMPV is responsible for 10% to 12% of respiratory illnesses in children. Most individuals are exposed to HMPV at least once before the age of five, with reinfections possible throughout their lifetime. Should we panic? Not yet. Unlike COVID-19, HMPV's mortality rate is low, but we cannot ignore it. Prevention is our strongest defense. Here's what you can do to protect yourself and your loved ones. Wear a mask. Masks are a simple yet effective tool in preventing the spread of respiratory viruses. Always wear a mask in crowded places, especially during flu season or when you're around individuals showing symptoms of illness. Masks act as a barrier, reducing the risk of inhaling infectious droplets that may carry HMPV or other viruses. Practice hand hygiene. Wash your hands often with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. If soap isn't available, use a sanitizer with at least 60% alcohol. Avoid crowded places. Large gatherings are hotspots for viruses. Stay away from crowds, especially during flu season. Boost your immunity. A strong immune system is your body's best defense against infections. Incorporate a variety of fruits, vegetables, and nutrient-dense foods into your diet. Regular physical activity, sufficient sleep, and stress management are equally important for maintaining overall health. Consider supplements like vitamin C, zinc, or probiotics if recommended by your healthcare provider. Consult a doctor quickly. If you or a loved one experience severe symptoms such as difficulty breathing, persistent fever, or extreme fatigue, seek medical attention immediately. Early diagnosis and treatment can make a significant difference, particularly for vulnerable populations like young children, the elderly, or individuals with compromised immune systems. Sadly, there's no specific antiviral drug or vaccine for HMPV yet. Researchers are working hard to find solutions, but right now, treatments only focus on relieving symptoms. This means your doctor may recommend medicine to lower fever, reduce congestion, or treat complications like pneumonia. Until a vaccine is developed, prevention remains our best weapon. There's good news though. Experts believe HMPV is unlikely to turn into a global pandemic like COVID-19. Instead, it may become a seasonal illness similar to the flu. So what can we do as a community? Awareness is key. Share this information with your friends, family, and neighbors. By staying informed and spreading awareness, we can prevent panic and ensure everyone knows how to stay safe. Together, we can tackle any health challenge that comes our way. As we face this new health concern, let's not forget the lessons we learned from the COVID-19 pandemic. What do you think about this new virus? Do you believe we're prepared to handle its spread? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on global health issues. Until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and take care of one another.